Well, good evening. It's been a while, but here we are, live on a Saturday night. You can add. All right, I don't think I've been live for a while, so I thought I'd go live today, um, just because I'm seeing. Oh God, the start again. Um, now the conspiracy crazies, the uh, the nutcases. Um, they will all say, "Well, we don't call you names. What are you calling us names?" Well, um, first of all, before I talk about flat Earth and stuff. I've got to first of all protect myself. So just a few conspiracy crazies. Here we go. All right. That's what I look like with hair. So what will happen is, is they all go online and they all go live and they all say, let me just wait for everyone to get on. And I'm like, do you know what? It doesn't, it doesn't matter to me who's watching. Um, but I've got my tinfoil hat on. So it it helps with, um, it, it deflects um, the radiation from my head. Um, what it also does is it... Um, it deflects uh, uh, the the reptilians. They can't see me because I've got my tin ball hat on, and um, you know um, anything to do with hello oh, Jamie. Um, anything to do with um, it's it's also um, I call it a bullshit detector. Um, so it repels bullshit. Okay. Um, so this is basically what these people are. They are literally tin ball hat wearers. Because what's happened is is they feel it feels good having something on my head. So I'm going to take it off now, if you don't mind. But, you know, I'm sure that I've built up enough. I look like Ming. <laughs> Ming. <laughs> from, I look like Ming from uh, Flash. There we go. There, uh, Peaky Blinder. Yep. All right, there we go. Um, so, this, uh, these people, these conspiracy crazies, these... I'm going to stop calling them conspiracy crazies. I'm going to call them rabbit, ho rabbit holers. Because what they do is they go so far down a rabbit hole and they'll lose their sense of anything lose anything that makes them human um so they had covid for from 2019 to 2021 ish 22 ish i'm taking this off now sorry ignore me dog dougie dougie that's enough um easy paul um so so basically dougie seriously so what happens is is um they had COVID, and now, like I've said before, they are also latching on to the next best thing. And what their leaders, just excuse me for one second. There, now you can't see anybody outside, can you, Doug? He just, bark, he just barks everything and anything that goes past. The dog's crazy. All right, so I'm going to start calling them rabbit holers. Because they had they had COVID, they had uh, you know everything else that goes with it. And, um, the next best thing now that they are latching onto, which I said they would, is flat Earth. Okay, so their ideas, and there's one in particular. Um, uh, there's one person in particular. Now, what happens is is they hear people like, all right, Ellis. Um, they hear people. Um, the big speakers in their movement um, doing live videos and they believe everything they hear. Now, I don't want to mention names, so I won't, um, because I don't know half of them um, and I really don't care. But what they'll do is they'll say, so and so said this and so and so said this. And they'll latch on to that and they'll believe all that. Uh, personally, I think they're a bunch of idiots. And I'm ashamed to say that I actually associated myself with them. Um, back in 2020, 2021, when COVID was, was rife, um, I latched myself onto them and, uh, they're basically proudly vulnerable, um, cause I was vulnerable at that time. And then I woke up. So what they're doing now is they're saying that, you know, the, the next best thing is flat earth. And, um, I'm going to give you some things that are not scientific per se. They're not research. They're just, you know, why the earth's not flat, you morons. Okay, first of all, first of all, their first thing is, is that we believe the Earth is a sphere to the to the uh, rabbit hole as that's a ball. Um, we believe we believe the Earth is a ball purely because since birth we have had these globes and people, you know, the the basic imagery of of Earth is a globe, is a is a, is a, is a ball, um, as it is with all planets. All planets are basically balls. <laughs> Um, they're all spheres. Um, so, but they're, they're saying that we believe this purely because that's what we've had since birth. That we have got no other imagery of, of 
what the earth looks like because we've just believed that you know all particularly earth is a sphere now my mentality is is that you know the earth is flat okay so where have you got this idea from that the earth is flat is it because you saw a picture and your mind has been changed and you've gone oh yeah okay but the other the question i pose to them is why do they believe that the earth is flat and also round why is it not flat and triangular why is it not flat and square why is it not flat and a different shape to a circle okay is it because somebody's given them an image of what a flat earth looks like and it's round that they're now believing that the earth is round and flat okay so again they've just contradicted themselves there you know one the imagery that we've been given since birth is that the earth is a ball and then the second is my fire back is okay well what do you see the earth as well i see it as something that's flat and round well why is it not square well because this pitch aha so you've just you know it's almost like you don't have a mind of your own other things they're talking about is um like centrifugal force um, they're talking about gravity. Uh, they believe that you know that the the Earth is surrounded by by uh, walls of ice, ice walls, um, and that's why nobody can go to Antarctica. Um, I personally think they've been watching too much Game of Thrones, okay? Because that's where you know the ice walls started to come from. Um, you know there was an ice one Game of Thrones, and it's a pretty good, pretty good program. If you haven't watched it, watch it. Um, so yeah. Um, they're talking about, um, you know, why don't, if the earth is traveling at a thousand miles an hour, why don't we fall off? Okay. Here's why. Because it's all relative. Okay. If we were the earth's size spinning on the earth, we probably would fall off. Um, what they've just got to look at is, first of all, um, you know those, uh, uh, you go to the, the theme parks and you get the Gravitron, which is like a, like a spaceship kind of thing, and you get in it, and it spins around at God knows how, let's, let's say a thousand miles an hour for argument's sake, and you start to rise up, you start to you know get pushed back because of gravity, because of the force pushing against you. Um, now, that's on a small circle. If we make that circle, okay, that may do... Um, a hundred rotations at a thousand miles an hour, okay? If we make that circle the size of the Earth, good evening, Stuart. If we make that circle the size of the Earth and have it travel at a thousand miles an hour, how many rotations do you think it'll do? Do you think it'll still do a hundred rotations? Let's say it does a hundred rotations every uh, every hundred minutes. All right, so it's doing one rotation a minute. That's a long time, but let's say it's doing one rotation every minute. But it's traveling at a thousand miles an hour. If you make it bigger, it will do half the rotations in the same time because it's bigger. It's been a while since last. I know I've said that at the beginning. It's been a while since last live. Um, so it, it is all relative. So if we take these gravitrons that you see at theme parks and we make them a hundred miles wide, all right, and then we put people in them and we spin them exactly the same speed. You don't believe people are going to have a really, really scary ride. No. Okay, it's a bit like... Um, uh, you're doing this with your kids where you swing them around at arm's length. Swing them around at arm's length. Spinny, spinny, spinny. Um, they're going to go slower on the outside because of the diameter from the, the centre of the circle than they would if they were in inside the circle. If they were actually at the diameter and you were spinning so fast, they would go faster in the middle than the one on the outside. Okay? So this is where the this is where the um you know the it's all relative comes from. Um one thing was uh, was to do with you know why doesn't water fall out of a bucket uh, when you spin it round? Well that's to do with centrifugal force. I don't understand it all but I just know that if you spin it round fast enough it'll fall it'll stay in. However, if you slow the spin down, what's going to happen to the water? It's gonna, it's gonna spill out, isn't it? And that's the that's the ice wall thing as well. So that's where you know because because the Earth is flat and round, it's not flat and square. Because the Earth is flat and round, and they believe that because it's spinning at a thousand miles an hour, that you know the the water's not flying outside the Earth because it's it's covered by ice walls. Oh wait, I've got a question in class. Or they don't believe the Earth's spinning at all. Holy crap. 
Okay, so they don't believe the earth is spinning whatsoever. Okay. Um, <laughs> it, it kind of is spinning. It, well, the thing is, is they say... The, the stars are moving. Oh, everything else is moving around the earth, apparently. Uh, we're not on this uh, this X, Y, Z axis that, you know, that allows us to rotate around. So we're kind of going, the earth is spinning one way, but we're kind of going on the axis the other way. So we're kind of going um, contra controversy to what the, if the earth is spinning around to the left, we're actually moving around to the right. Okay, that's just a basic example. So we are, you know, the earth's spinning one way, but we're actually going the opposite direction. Yeah, on this X, Y, Z axis, yes. Um, so, yeah, ice walls and, you know, they don't know what's underneath the Earth and, you know, because it's flat. Oh, God, here we go again. Right, they're also saying that nothing can get in and nothing can get out. So, you know, the question is, where are the reptiles coming from? Um, you know, they're not coming from the zoo. Now, have in mind that these people believe the queen is a reptile. These people believe that there are reptilians living among us. These people believe that, you know, that, you know, the secret societies that are, you know, doing all kinds of horrible things and not being caught. The, you know, the saying that the government's lied to us and, you know, that we're being kept in prison and this, that, and the other. Um, these people are just downright crazy. Um, the other analogy they gave was uh, if you put water on a tennis ball and spin it fast, the tennis ball, will, the, the water will fly off the tennis ball. Well, that's correct. It will do. So why aren't we falling off the earth? Okay. Because of that, because of, because of the force that's pushing us down, but, sorry, that's pulling us towards the ground, um, David Icke said this, all this to make a shed load of cash. Yeah, well, that's that's part of the, you know, they all say a lot of things to make a shed a of cash. The thing is, is, you know, I'm not making any money. Um, so, yeah, you know, they, what's pu what's pulling us down, it's not pushing us down, it, it pulls us. So it's a force, that put, it's, it's force of gravity that pulls us. Um, but it's all relative. So you take this same tennis ball, you blow it up to the size of the earth, put a speck of water on it, and spin it a thousand miles an hour. It will not spin as fast as you think because of the size, and the water probably won't come off it because of the size. Okay, um, if you were to take that same tennis ball and put the water on it and spin it, spin it, spin it, spin it, so that you think it's dry, but then magnify it maybe a couple of thousand times, you will find there's still water there. So it's not all falling off. You'll find there's still water in some of the crevices. You know, which if you magnify a tennis ball, God knows how much, you'll probably find there's more crevices than there are Earth. There is an Earth. So, so yeah, that's pretty much it, really. Um, I just think that, you know, they've latched onto the next best thing. They are a, a bunch of idiots. You know, they don't like me calling them names because, you know, they're all snowflakes. Oh, yep, I've got another, I've got another question coming. Go on. Yeah, if the tennis ball was already moving at speed, um, then the water probably wouldn't fall off if it formed on it at speed. It's purely because of the acceleration. Now, the, the Earth has been spinning, has been going around since the dawn of time, since the Big Bang. Now, their belief is that two things clash together to make the Big Bang. And they also believe that, you know, banging two things together doesn't cause anything apart from, uh, you know, disaster. Now... There weren't two things that banged together to form the the universe. It was something that exploded. So just because just because the word bang, this is how silly they are, they assume the word bang is two things colliding. It doesn't have to be that way. Um, a uh, firework isn't two things colliding, but it causes a bang. Okay, It's something exploding from inside. And that's basically how I understand the Big Bang, that it was it was uh, molecules of heat that that just exploded um, and made this, this this infinite universe, which is pretty amazing to think of, really, isn't it? You know, to think how small we actually are in regards to the universe. But what these people are trying to do is, I don't, I don't know what they're trying to do. 
They talk about the government scaremongering. They talk about the government with their agenda. They talk about the government with their propaganda. But my question is, is what are you actually doing? What are these um, rabbit holes actually doing? They're also scaremongering with their, you know, silly ideas. They're also going into propaganda with things they've read off the internet. Now, I don't know where these people get their ideas from. Unless they've got some sort of internet that we don't know about. Where are they getting the, their ideas from? You know, why are they reading one thing and not reading the other? You know, why are they not looking at things from both sides? Because there are three sides to every coin. There's, there's three sides to every coin. But here's why they do that. Because what they do is they latch on to something that they want. Something they like. Something that makes them feel important. And they try and throw it down someone else's throat. Okay. So whenever, you t whenever somebody's talking to you, you've got to look at things with, with a realistic eye, you know, or some sort of rationale. And if there's no rationale to what people are saying, you've got to say, well, hang on a minute, you know, wh where have you got your ideas from? That's my first, that's my first question. Where are you getting these ideas from for you to believe that this is this? Okay. And what's changed your thinking? Unless you've always thought that, you know, the earth is flat, which again, what makes you believe, flat earther, that the earth is flat and round? Why is it not square? Why does it have to be a circle? Is it because of an image that you've seen that portrays that in your mind, that you are so close-minded to anything else that you just want to throw loads of crap at each other? You want to throw loads of crap at other people? You want to push your agenda onto people? They are starting to really, really wind me up. And I don't go live often about them, but I do like to, you know, whenever something new comes up, I do like to sort of put my two pen thing. And these people are, you know, the again, where Mindy and I were both ashamed that we actually associated ourselves with them. We just can't believe I mean, we associate ourselves with them not because not because of COVID, but because of the rules. Okay. Um, because COVID is COVID is a real virus. Plain and simple. COVID-19 has killed people, plain and simple, okay? But we didn't believe the the, um, the ginormity of it, all right? And that's what we sort of latched on to. But then we started hearing, you know, people started talking about um, uh, Illuminati and started saying that, the you know, the, the, the Queen is a shapeshifter and that, you know, all these celebrities, the, they're all shapeshifters and things. I'm like, um, what the hell are they talking about? So we had to get out because that to me is, you know... To be. What if the aliens do visit us? What if there is an alien out there and it, they are going to visit us? What are we going to do about it? What are these menial people? When I say menial people, I mean me and them. Because we're nothing. We are nothing in the grander scheme of things. You know, somebody rabbit on about rabbit. Somebody going on about flat Earth and conspiracy theories and doing protests and things. What are those menial people, as in me, going to do about it? What are we going to change? Absolutely nothing. So the aliens might visit. The Earth might be flat. Let's just assume for a second. Let's go crazy. Let's, let's, poo! let's go mental and say the Earth is actually flat. So what? Let's go crazy for a second and let's say the aliens are going to visit. So what? What can we do about it? We've not got laser beams. We've not got lasers. We've not got pew, pew, pew. We've not got that sort of stuff. We've not got the higher intelligence. They've got me. Some people think they have because they've got Google. But not everything's right on Google. Can't believe everything you read, but these people do. So, so what? How does it affect your life? Why don't you just get on with your life? Because you're not changing anything, you know? They're all shouting now, you know, they've all been shouting, oh, we've won, we've won, we've won. Because lockdown's over and COVID's, you know, dying down and we've won. No, you didn't win anything. You just rode it out. You just sat there and you went along with the program. You didn't wear a mask, fair enough. You didn't isolate, whatever. But you just went along with the program anyway. You haven't won bugger all. You know, oh, we've, we've won this, we've won this. Our protest works. No, they didn't. You're all deluded. Delusions of grandeur. And that's sad. But so what if the earth is flat? So what if the sky is pink? And we just see it as blue because of an image that we've, we've, been, we've been given as a kid. Does anybody care? If the earth is flat, so what? 
if reptiles are among us, so what? What are they gonna do? Start eating our babies? What are they gonna what are they gonna do? Oh, they already do eat our babies apparently. We've got Jing Tao tonight. Jing Tao. Sing Tao. Easy, Dan. <clears throat> so they're not going to do anything, really. You know, what they're, what they're attempting to do is they're attempting to be heard. But all that's happening is if the government are watching these people, they're just letting them build a rod for their own back. They're just, they're just making them, they're just letting them, you know, make the bed so they can lay in a lair because they're sounding nuts. And reasonable people, like myself, are not going to sit there and go, oh, yeah, yeah, maybe they're this far. Oh, let's start a revolution. Shut up, man. Pardon me. Like I say, if the earth is flat, it doesn't affect me. If there are reptiles, it doesn't affect me. If there are, you know, aliens going to visit in 2022, which they're meant to be, actually, they need to get a move on. Because we now we're, we're knocking on the door of April. We're in April. So we're in April. They need to get a move on. There's only eight months left. So if they're going to visit, crack on. Um, come and see me. I'll make you a cup of tea. Make you a cup of English tea. Yorkshire tea. Um, it doesn't affect, it doesn't affect them. They just want to shout. They just want to have something to say. We, we all have got something to say. Some of us say it louder than others. Myself included. But not when it comes to craziness. Not when it comes to, you know, being ridiculed. You know, and they are being ridiculed by me for one. Because they're all nuts. You know, and again, they'll they'll post comments. I'm putting this on YouTube on the, the Bearded Opinion. Um, they'll all post comments and they'll all be like, Oh, you know, you, you called us names and this, that, and the other, and blah, 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 blah. Oh, get over it. Sticks and stones and all that. Because you lot have called me names before as well. Alright? Personal attacks. Personal. Um, the other thing about the earth being flat is, if you stand, if you, if you stand, um, the saying is the higher you go, the further you can see. Right? So think about this. You stand on a level playing field. Right? And the sun goes beneath the horizon. If you go up high... In a plane, on a mountain, or whatever, you'll still be able to see that sunrise, that sunset again. So you'll see it twice, and then if you go even higher, you'll see it three times. And the higher you go, the more you'll see the sunset. There's only so high, there's only so high you can go. Um, if the Earth was flat, that wouldn't be the case. The Earth would disappear. Uh, sorry, the sun would disappear, and you wouldn't be able to go higher and see it again. It just you'd see the sunset once. You'd see the sunrise once okay i suppose this is how, how deep you can go as well but let's stick with height so you see the sunset once well, but, but because the earth is round it's a sphere hey there she is <laughs> hey bye gum because the earth is a sphere you are able to see that you're able to see the sunset twice three times depending on how high you go okay um, so yeah, you can see the Earth's curvature if you stand high enough, I suppose. At uh, fifty thousand feet. Fifty thousand feet. Mm -hmm. Which maybe what planes fly? I don't know. I don't know. But look, I'm not. Um, I'm not a physicist. I'm not a scientist. I'm not a biologist. I'm not a maybe a bit of a piss artist. But but that's about it. Uh, I'm a martial artist. Um, so so yeah, look, you know it's. You've got to think it's all relative. And we're not falling off the earth because we are relative in size to the earth. The earth is thousands and thousands and thousands of miles wide from its centre to its, its most um, outlaying parts. We are menial. We're like ants on a... We're not even like ants on a bouncy ball. You know those bouncy balls you at the gym? We're not even an ant on that. We are smaller than an ant on that. But I'm willing to bet, if you put an ant on there and spin it around, the ant won't fall off. 
It might all because it can stick to things. That's probably why. But we are smaller than an ant on a, on one of those bouncy balls you see at the gym. That's how relative we are, you know. And I suppose in a universe this size, where apparently space doesn't exist, does it? In a universe this size, um, we are even smaller. So relative to the Earth, we're tiny. We're like a speck of sand. To their tennis ball. Even smaller than that, I suppose. We're probably smaller than a speck of sand to their tennis ball. And it's all relative. And they're not thinking with a log logistical? I don't know. A logical. Logistics is, is logistics is like places and stuff, deliveries. Um, a logical mind. The thinking with it is, is they've seen one side of the coin. Now remember there are three sides of the coin. There's your belief, my belief, somewhere in the middle, there's the truth. Okay? My words, your words, somewhere in the middle is the truth. So yeah, that's my uh, my rant about flat earthers. <clears throat> that's all I've got to say. So I've got to say about that. It's probably backwards. I'll do it this way instead. Um, yeah. That's it. That's my rant. Over and out. Um, don't forget your tinfoil hats, people. I've destroyed mine now, so the aliens are coming. Destroyed it. Ooh, what am I going to do? You know? Government's watching. I'm not important. The government's watching me. The Earth is a goddamn sphere. Simple. Ugh. Anyway, but yeah, if a flat earth comes to you and says the earth is flat, ask them what shape it is. And ask them why it's that shape. Probably because an image they've seen and decided, oh yeah, that makes sense. It makes nonsense, more like. But that's why they say that, you know, we believe the earth is a sphere because of images we've seen since birth. And that's what we've been conditioned to think. I'm sorry, but you know, when you get to a certain age, you become a free thinker. I'm going to love you and leave you. Thanks for watching. Leave us a like. Leave us a comment. Uh, subscribe to The Bearded Opinion on YouTube. See ya.